Russian Orthodox Church, also known as the Autocephalous Orthodox Church of Moscow and all Russia, has its headquarters in Moscow and is present in Jerusalem with two large churches. The Russian Orthodox mission in the Holy Land dates back to 1858. It developed considerably in the late 20th century with the arrival of numerous Russian immigrants who settled in Jerusalem and took Israeli citizenship. Today, the Russian Orthodox community has between 200,000 and 400,000 faithful. The Russian Orthodox Confession was established after the Fourth Ecumenical Council of 451, the Council of Chalcedon, which discussed one of the most subtle theological issues, namely the dual nature of Christ, human and divine. The condemnation of Monophysitism by the Council of Chalcedon led to the separation of the Eastern Churches, who maintained the belief of the Monophysitism of Christ, that his human nature was absorbed by the divine nature, from the Catholic Church. Despite their theological differences, the Russian Orthodox Church and the Catholic Church are considerably closer in recent times, especially under the pontificate of Benedict XVI. In February 2010, the Russian Orthodox Patriarch, His Beatitude Cyril, said that the Orthodox Church shares many positions of the Catholic Church, and that together they are called to deal with problems such as aggressive secularism, globalization, and the erosion of traditional moral principles. The first church that reflects the Russian Orthodox presence in Jerusalem is the Cathedral of the Holy Trinity, located in the historical center of Jerusalem. This building was founded in 1860 by the Imperial Orthodox Palestinian Society and inaugurated in 1872 when the number of Russian Orthodox pilgrims arriving in Jerusalem outnumbered pilgrims from other Christian denominations. During World War I, the Turks expelled all the Christians from Jerusalem, and the cathedral remained empty for some time. Since 1948, the church has again been sponsored by the Russian Orthodox. The cathedral can accommodate more than 2,000 worshippers and is located in the old part of Jerusalem behind the Holy Sepulchre. Today, thanks to shelters nearby, the church is able to host Russian Orthodox pilgrims and other visitors who choose this church as the first stop on their visit to Jerusalem. The second is the Cathedral Church of St. Mary Magdalene. It was built in the traditional Russian architectural style after the creation of the mission, on the orders of Tsar Alexander III in 1886. The cupola is topped with seven golden domes and is located on the Mount of Olives in the Garden of Gethsemane, being, in fact, one of the most extraordinary monuments of Jerusalem. Built on the Muscovite style, the marble-looking facade of the cathedral is actually made of sandstone, on the main gate is a blue mosaic representing St. Mary Magdalene clothed in a white tunic. The church was built in 1888 and inaugurated by the Grand Duke Sergei Alexandrovich and his wife Grand Duchess Elizabeth van Hessen Darmstadt. After having belonged to the State of Israel, the territories of the new mission have been owned by the Church since 1949 and depend on the Patriarchate of Moscow. The local representative is an Archimandrite, assisted by many monks and nuns. A mission of the Romanian Orthodox Church, again consisting of monks and nuns, has also been present since 1935. Today, the Russian mission receives many pilgrims from Russia, the Ukraine, and other countries who visit the Holy Land. Many active monastic communities take care of the Russian Orthodox patrimony. <laughs>